Zionists are pushing a new line of propaganda that's aimed at breaking black solidarity with Palestinians. They're trying to convince people that the only reason Palestinians are getting attention right now is because we're not black. Then they point to the Democratic Republic of Congo, the DRC, and say, well, look at those people who've been murdered and nobody's paying attention to them. And it's, all, and it's because they're black. And the point of this is to fracture our movements. So first of all, Palestinian society is multiracial and there are black Palestinians who are getting slaughtered in Gaza, just like the rest of their neighbors. But what's more important is you should know that Israel is at the heart of the genocide in the DRC as they have been arming and training militias in Rwanda and Uganda who are responsible for maintaining the violent chaos to facilitate Western mineral extraction from Congo's mines. The M23 militia is the primary culprit and they've received surveillance, software, military hardware, funds and training from various Western states and especially from Israel. Furthermore, Israel not only cheered for the assassination of Patrice Lumumba, the first democratically elected president of Congo, but they actually helped prevent bringing his murderers to justice. They then helped maintain the horrifically oppressive rule of Mobutu Sese Seko for decades. In fact, a contingent of Israeli armed and trained paratroopers were the backbone of Mobutu's suppression throughout Congo. Go through any atrocity in the whole of Africa and you will find Israel is part of it. From the Rwandan genocide, Israeli arms dealers boasted about supplying weapons to the Hutus when the world knew what they were doing to the Tutsis. To the genocidal diamond extraction industry or oil extraction or any other extraction in Africa. If you examine genocide and oppression anywhere in the world, you'll usually find the US, Israel and Britain are the instigators and it's for profit and for consolidation of power. The genocide of Palestinians is not separate from these, and frankly, it's fine if folks don't want to speak up for Palestinians getting slaughtered right now, but it's a whole nother level to go on social media to explain why others shouldn't either at this hour when the equivalent of an atomic bomb has been dropped on the most densely populated place on earth. Sadly, people think that solidarity is a zero sum game. We can chew gum and walk at the same time. We can acknowledge the problems within our movements and work on them without deliberate fracturing. What's also interesting is that a lot of the folks bringing up the DRC themselves have never said a word about those places. For the record, I'm Palestinian and I have written and spoken about it, as well as the other atrocities that have been happening in Africa that have been instigated by Western powers because it's all connected and that needs to be said over and over.